When I upgraded to Windows 10, I began having a lot of problems with my FireWire devices. I have several cameras that rely on FireWire to transfer the information from the camera to the computer. When I rebuilt my PC a few years back, I actually removed the FireWire port because I no longer had somewhere to plug it in. And ever since then, I haven't been able to reliably connect a FireWire device to my Windows 10 desktop PC. So today, we're going to be trying out a new PCI card that I picked up. Previously, I bought kind of a cheap off-brand PCIe card, hoping that that would solve my connectivity problems. However, I found that it did not work reliably with Windows 10. It would work fine with Windows Vista and probably even Windows 7 and such, but it would not work with Windows 10. So today I've got a StarTech 2 port PCI Express 1394A card that we're going to be installing into my desktop computer and trying out. All right, so let's get this thing open here. Always turn off your computer before installing new hardware. It's just a good thing to do. All right, so you can see here I've got this StarTech 2 port PCIe Express 1394A Firewire card, like I said before. It's a Firewire 400. So that should work with both of the cameras I need it to work with. So let's, I want to talk a little bit about why I need this card while I you know, work over here and try to get this installed in my computer and this mess that is the back of my computer. So I've got this camcorder, which is from like, I don't even know when. This thing is so old. We've got a lot of old family videos that are still on the old cassettes and stuff that we need to move over. And so I've been trying to rip a lot of those, but to do that, I've been needing to use two computers because the other FireWire port, which is actually in another PC, won't work with this computer. So we're hoping that that fixes it. And this wonderful beastie Canon X-H-A1 that I want to try to use instead of using like a webcam or something when I'm shooting, you know, in here with my computer and such, when I just want to feed stuff straight into my computer, it doesn't work with the other card either. So we're hoping that this new card allows both of these to connect. Hopefully we can connect them both at the same time even. I'll be able to use that one for stuff like this rather. And then hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of the video off that one. All right, so we've gotten our power turned off. We're going to slide this out just as much as we need. We don't need it too far out. We just need it out far enough. All right, we've got our new card here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install this right underneath my graphics card here. We'll just line this up, stick it in, secure that. All right, awesome. So let's try booting it up, see what happens. All right, so if we go ahead and take a look here in the device manager, we can see that we've got the IEEE 1394 host controller here. It does say that it's the VIA, and according to the software installation instructions that came with the card, that is what it should show as, so that's good looking. So let's actually try opening something up and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to mount this up. We're going to connect it and see what happens. We're going to see if it works or not. And then we'll also try the camera here. But let's try this one first, because this will probably be the easiest thing to try. All right, so it looks like good news so far. We've got connection sounds. We've got the Canon showing up here. It says device driver is not installed, but it is showing up as the correct camera. Let's go ahead. And let's launch on location. All right, so we've got on location launch. Let's go ahead and see if we're showing up in the monitor. We are. Canon camcorder is showing up in the monitor. We've got video. It looks like it's in live. It's, well, it's, it's close enough to real time. But that is good. That is a good sign. That's probably tripping you all out right now. We'll go ahead and turn that off. That way we're not causing everybody to freak out. All right, so that's good. That's looking, that's making me happy. I am curious though. Let's go ahead and see if we can add this camera straight into Streamlabs. We've got, what would this be considered? It's probably be considered a video capture device, which is so like webcams. Okay, so that's good. That's kind of what we want. We're going to go ahead and call this Canon XHA1, just for the heck of it. We'll be thorough. And let's see. God, vMix video. So it doesn't look like it is showing up here. So I might have to look around some, see if there is a way to use that instead of a webcam directly in Streamlabs here. Though that's something interesting that I'd like to figure out. I think it'd be really cool to be able to do something like that. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try connecting our Sony camera now. Let's see what happens. All right, so we've got the Sony camera connected now. Should be coming up any moment. Not seeing it though. Let's go ahead and open up on location again. All right, let's see, is this, okay, so it is showing up here. Let's see, is it gonna switch? It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. It looks like it's switched. So one of the bummers is I've ripped a bunch of those, but I did it using composite going to USB and then, you know, into my computer when I really probably should have done it like this. So I might have to relook over some of those videos, see if I think I need to re-rip them or not. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Well, that'll wrap up this video. If you're needing FireWire support for your Windows 10 machine, check out the link in the description below. I've got linked to the FireWire card that I bought and just tested that I showed you guys. Or go ahead and do a search for other Windows 10 compatible FireWire cards. Make sure that whatever you buy does say that it is Windows 10 compatible as the ones that do not have it listed probably won't work, kind of like the original one that I bought. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. That way other people can figure out how to solve their Windows 10 FireWire issues. And also let me know that you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe because there will be more content coming. And I'll see you guys in the next video.